All right, everybody. Good morning and a happy Sunday morning to you. It's uh, September 16th, Sunday morning. It's 10.30 a.m. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and include this video into this uh, making uh, sorghum baleage video series because it's, uh, it's highly important. Um, you're not about to see a video full of glory and bale spitting out, okay? You're going to see some uh, maintenance. Uh, what's been performed. I've already I've already completed it all and a little bit of organization that took place this morning starting at about 8 o'clock uh, My morning today was of course uh, uh, Feeding animals taking care of a few chores and then uh, I started the process of getting ready for this uh, Pretty big day this big day and of course tomorrow as well So here's the setup. We're ready to go to war started with the tractor it's all full of fuel uh, I checked the oil brand new oil change last week check the oil the oil is completely fine uh, hydraulic tranny to be honest with you I had to add a little bit um, which is common I'd have to say no uh, oh, it was shy of a shy of a gallon which actually was a little surprising so the tractor is fully completely serviced ready to go all fluid levels the loader got completely greased. Um, folks, we're dealing with some heavy, heavy, heavy bales and lots of them. So very important to uh, all grease fittings. I just finished the round baler with the exception of when I'm done here. I've got to climb up there and uh, get some hay. I don't really have to, but it makes me feel better. I got to get some hay off of... Uh, off the belts up by the rollers up there we have got 12,000 feet of net wrap ready to go I have a spare net wrap roll of well over 12,000 feet um, I buy them I buy the ones that are 12 I think it's 12,800 I've got a spare roll up in the compartment up there uh, ready for a quick change out because I'm here to tell you um, I'm probably gonna get blasted for this and that's fine uh, I put three wraps on my baleage. Reason being is um, in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's not expensive. It's pricey. But in the grand scheme of things, it is not. If you can make that make sense. I've also seen a lot of bales blow out in my day. Uh, baleage, whether it be alfalfa or, well, I've never dealt with sorghum before for anybody else, just myself. Um for people trying to get away with just putting two wraps on it, it doesn't cut the mustard. So th this, this roll will not cover all the sorghum. I will be changing that roll out tomorrow with a new one, I believe. Complete grease job to the baler. Um, of course, it starts with the shaft, uh, the joints down below by the PTO. Uh, this guy here, close that up now. Uh, yeah, complete and total grease job. Uh, not only grease job, but also a chain and cable lube on all chains and sprockets. I'm a huge believer in that. I'm also a very big disbeliever in used oil. I just don't like it because it cakes everything up. Um, so yeah, these are, these are nice and lubricated and uh, ready to go. Uh, the other thing that I do is, uh, <laughs> if this looks dirty, trust me, it's not. Uh, I blew out the entire baler. All chaff, as much dust as I could. I probably spent 30 minutes with the air nozzle. Um, and what I use is this guy right here. It's, uh, it works wonders. It makes me feel better, so therefore I do it. Climbed inside here, cleaned this out fully as much as I could. Uh, which is going to be my problem child with the sorghum baleage. Uh, this is where I'm going to be going in and cleaning. Um, you know, get the wads and clumps out of the corners by the rollers and just, uh, it can create havoc and it's, it's worth, I figure, stopping every 15 bales and doing a cleaning. Uh, you also don't forget these. Anybody else with a baler that's similar, don't forget these guys here. This is obviously the chain for your pickup. Complete and full total service. Lots of net wrapping ready to go.
<clears throat> we are going to start this up in just a little bit and we're going to we're going to watch and listen uh, listen for any uh, ticks or problems that uh, seems abnormal all right we ain't done yet uh, got a bunch of uh, film wrap ready to go here um, just in case anybody is wondering because this is a non glory video it's $340 It's only money, right? It's my joke of the day. Okay, the open cab. Loader 6400 tractor is going to be a major part of this operation. And usually is. This is what I'm going to call the relay tractor. Once we start wrapping, this tractor in a wagon is relaying bales to the wrapper. This got a full service grease job of the loader, uh, complete fuel fill up, and checked all fluid levels. This tractor is a godsend. It's always perfect. Okay, I have not hit the wrapper yet. Um, it takes a very minor grease job. I did fill it up full of fuel just before I started this video. Uh, fuel is completely full and this it's amazing how long this will go on a, a full tank of fuel uh, I do need to add check and add hydraulic. I promise it needs to be add added to Limited amount of grease fittings and then we got a little problem here um, It's not a big deal, but it's gonna have to be dealt with a fitting broke down there and it's going to take an arm leg and a circus act to change out this hose. I'm going to have to put up with it for the next couple of days. But when I'm done with this wrapper and the sorghum, I'm going to be going after that hose and replacing that for the, uh, you know, th this is a borrowed piece of equipment here, folks. Uh, okay, film wrap. We've got a very, damn near a full roll right there that we put on last night when we finished, close to being finished. And about a half a roll up there, so it won't take long, and that film wrap will have to be changed out. Started my morning this morning after chores and a little bit of Sunday coffee and filling out bill time, hauling bales. Um, I don't use those end caps anymore. I don't. I don't like them. I don't believe in them. They don't. It takes 15 people to to hold it and feed it and for it to actually work correctly. Unless I'm doing it wrong, I'm not. It's just a, it's just an end cap. Um, I don't use those anymore. So on each end, we put two dry bales. Um, last year I was only doing one, but the first, second, and even sometimes third bale would be a little funky. So therefore, I do two dry bales on each end. So this morning I hauled out. Uh, what I haul out? I hauled out ten, ten bales. Reason being is I'm gonna make two, two of the big lines. And then I've decided to go ahead and make a line of 30 bales, which is something I wanna open up come November. I don't wanna open up a whole huge line, so I'm just making a separate line. There's gonna be three lines. There's gonna be a separate line of about 30 bales. Maybe 40 if I'm feeling crafty. So that was hauled out this morning. The wagon's out there. Um, I'm starting this, uh, I'm going to start running that baler here at about 12.30, 1 o'clock. It's already just beautiful. 10.30 in the morning, it's 72 degrees on September 16th. It's going to reach up to 80 today. Uh, another great dry down day. Um, uh, I'd like to see more, but uh, I don't have time. And the weather pattern is still holding true. Um, we're... Uh, the absolute floodgates are going to open come Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So this is getting picked up. Uh, what else? That's about it. Starting 12:30, 1 o'clock. I'm going to stop bailing at one of two points: bail number 100 or 4 o'clock. Um, at that time or 4 o'clock, I need to come here and do chores which I'm doing them a little bit early, but uh, time calls for it to be done early. 
and um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to be uh, turning that wrapper behind us by uh, 5 p.m. So, yeah, all right, hope everybody's doing okay. Stay tuned for some more videos. You're going to see at least, at a minimum, two videos, two more videos today. It's going to be, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe after the first dozen bales, I'll do a video, let you guys know how it's going, show you the bales, see how the balers are reacting. And then you're guaranteed to see another video or two of the wrapping process. And uh, we're going to make this fun. I'm going to try and make it informative, even though I'm no teacher, because I know there's a lot of you out there that are starting to look at this sorghum. I suggest that you do um, for a good, abundant, cheap feed source. And um, we're going to have a little fun. So, all right, folks, we're going to talk to you sooner and later.